Hi, I'm Laura with the Canadian Museum of Nature. We're here at the Rideau River talking about native versus zebra mussels. So Andre, it's been 15 years since the Rideau River Biodiversity Project was wrapped up, in which you were very instrumental as an expert in freshwater mussels. So after 15 years, what have we learned about the impact on the Rideau River with zebra mussels versus native mussels? The introduction of the zebra mussel meant the loss of a lot of those native populations of mussels, including the populations in the Rideau River. Now, there are a few sites, a number of places, in fact, adjacent to some habitats, wetlands, where we think they're surviving well, the native species surviving somewhat okay following the introduction of the zebra mussel. The native mussel has a large foot, is capable of burying itself some of them disappearing from the surface of the bottom of the river into the sediment for parts of the winter. They're able to even move horizontally with that foot. They're quite mobile if the substrate allows for it. In gravel, beds and stones and pebbles, a bit more difficult. And that's one of the things where we're seeing some differences in terms of survival. The zebra mussel is not an expert at burying. It's an expert at covering. So if you bury yourself, in the sediment, if you're a native mussel, rare or common species, and you bury yourself deep enough and shut the valve and hold on tight in the sediment, you will smother and literally choke to death the invader, the zebra mussels. So, you think we're going to find some live native mussels here today? I think so. This is a good spot. This used to be one of the richest native freshwater mussel habitats. Here we have uh, two zebra mussels attaching to two native freshwater mussels. As long as it stays that way, just a few or none at all. This area here, the area of Smith Falls, all slides in the, in the Rideau River system is still a good overall habitat where the native mussels can survive. And we hope it will be, remain the same in the coming years, that it will be like this as a, a kind of a refugium. Thank you.